Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to learn technical books. First of all, technical books are not novels. Reading technical books are totally different compared to novels. If you miss some part during reading a um, novel, then but still you can understand it later. But technical books isn't like that. So little bit things that we need to know while reading technical books. The main key in reading technical books is understanding. If you have read the technical book and not understood the book, that is equal to not reading the book. So understanding stands a very important role in reading a technical books. There are two types of people which I have seen come across during my teaching profession. The person reads once a book and understand it for the first time itself. I consider them as a type 1 people. So there are people, there are persons who read more than once and little, they find it a little difficult to understand. But it is the tendency of a person. But I will teach you if you are a type 2 of person who reads once and doesn't understand. So let me explain, give you some methods to learn how to read technical books. Even if it is a very tough technical book, if you follow these methods, it is easy to understand and score. you can score the highest marks. The method 1. Let's consider a paragraph. Our aim is to understand this paragraph. Now, there are few steps that I have explained how to understand these paragraphs. Step 1. Divide the paragraph into sentences. Step 2. Divide the sentence into group of words. Step 3. Try to understand this group of words by reading. If you didn't understand, repeat this group of words. Again, if you still did not understand, repeat this group of words. But please do not by heart. Now, after reading a bunch of words, if you have not understood this, then look into single words now if the single word is not understood then keep a dictionary and see the meaning of it now the next step is after seeing the meaning i'm pretty sure you will have understood a group of words by now now combine these bunch of words to understand the sentence so repeat repeat individually repeat individual sentences and try to understand. Similarly, do these things to all the sentences. Finally, repeat the paragraph. You will understand it very clearly. Very important step is this. After you think that you have understood the paragraph, now try to put this paragraph in your own words. So if you, if you are able to put this in your own words correctly, then what you have understood is right. So second method, so let's consider a data structure is a subject and you need to understand the depth first search is a topic that you need to understand. Okay. Now, how will we understand? So use YouTube to learn this concept. Now let's consider now search specific topic. Be very specific to the topic like type DFS or depth first search. So then you will get a lot of videos on that. You can listen to these videos and you can understand it. So remember, try to type a specific name of the topic which you are learning in the YouTube. So that is how you can learn this using YouTube. This is the second method. And the third method is sometimes there is technical books which are completely theory. Now try to read a sentence in the step one. Try to read the sentence and convert them in pictures. Now, for example, there are two processors connected to CPU. Now, you can see two pictures here. P1 and P2 are the two processor which is connected to CPU. So, this is how converting the what is written theoretically into converting them in the picture form. So, that is next one is the fourth method. That is, if you have a recorder, read it loudly record it and listen to it so you will be listening to your own voice and 
you will be understanding understanding it better so it is like listening to your own voice now fifth method so let us consider you need to understand a specific topic now how will you understand this now step one is that type a specific topic you need to understand in the google and in a google search type dfs let's consider it is a dfs dfs dot doc all the documents related to dfs is shown type dfs dot ppt all the ppts related to dfs is shown type dfs dot pdf all the top files which is related to dfs which is in the form of pdf is shown so next is the sixth method let's consider after all these five methods you are still not able to concentrate now there is a very important method to bring back the concentrate is by writing so to follow the same method which we looked into five methods previously then try to write once write once and read it a number of times so that is what mix writing and reading so when you mix both of them so you will get a concentration which is what you are trying to learn so this means add writing in between reading now last method which is really happens like if you have a friend you can do a group study but whatever the first six steps is about individual study and a group study might help or might not might not help so so the seventh method is a group study thank you very much